folks, Ray from DCRainmaker.com. I'm here today to unbox GoPro's newest action camera, the GoPro Hero 5 Black. Um, now, a couple weeks ago, they announced two different cameras, the Hero 5 Black and the Hero 5 Session. This video is all about the Black, whereas the other video I've got is about the Session. You can hit that video right up there, unboxing there. Now, I'm basically going to do two different things here. One, I'm going to unbox the entire camera, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about size and weight comparison. That's why I've got the scale right here. So I'll walk through the weight, the size, uh, compared to the older GoPros, compared to some other action cameras out in the market there itself. Um, and that's, that's sort of it for this video. It's all about unboxing. But if you want like a feature rundown, like everything you could possibly ask for about this camera itself, um, then there's a video up there, which is basically the menu. So I'm going to walk through every single menu there is, how it all works, kind of all the details of that. Um, so that's a separate video. It's like, I don't know, 12, 15 minutes long. It covers anything you might ask about it. There's also a gimbal video about the uh, new Karma gimbal, as well as the Karma drone video. Like all that crap is up on that playlist, so definitely hit all that up. For now, let's get started unboxing. So here we've got the box here. Uh, we've got the clear case up top so you can easily see the camera through it. Uh, it's mounted onto a mount already, which is this top piece here. Um, and I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, you've got kind of information about the apps on the background there, um, or on the back, sorry, uh, the different mounts that are included in this case. Uh, keep this in mind. Now, one thing to note is that in the past, GoPro has changed this slightly to different bundles and kits. Uh, so right now there's only one bundle, but you know they had different options. So this is the base Hero 5 Black as opposed to being kind of anything unique. So just a uh, little difference on the mounting options there. And then here's all the features that comes with it, 4K, all this jazz. Again, separate video talking about all the features, uh, but I'll probably talk about a few of them as we get the camera at least turned on. So we'll go to the bottom here and we'll slice off the uh, little label there. There we go. It's the only use I have for that knife, I think. And then we'll go ahead and slide this entire box out here. Uh, so we're gonna open it, I guess, this way it looks like. There we go. And then we can go ahead and just pull this plastic apart. And it's still not going through, so I think I'm missing one different, uh, where are we going here? Somewhere. Uh, it looks like it's sticker. This is a well-sealed case. Try not to totally destroy it, but I think that's, that's probably gonna happen here. There we go. Now we're making progress. Okay, so the box is out of the way. We'll put this off the side for now. I uh, got this cleaned up. There we go. Hero 5 Black. Now you know what we're talking about. Now we have this. Uh, so the camera sits atop the box. Now this plastic piece comes off and it's actually kind of useful. Uh, so we just pop this rubber stopper out there first and then you can slide the whole thing forward. And then we got the camera there like that. Um, you can use this base plate though for like doing time lapses and stuff like that where you just want to put the camera down. Certainly you can put it like this somewhere, but if it's like a windy day or something and you don't want to mount a sticky mount or whatever to it, you can just pop this thing off the top here and then you can use it. So it's kind of a neat little trick there. Um, so we'll do that right now. It's just glued on there. So that's it. And that way you can slide in there and, and use it whenever you want. So don't throw this away. Um, I kind of keep mine around just for the fun of it. Next we'll go ahead and open this box up. Uh, this is going to be our mounts inside of this, likely. So there we go inside. It, it's kind of, well, sort of disappointing, I guess. There's not, I feel like there should be more stuff inside of this. Like, this has only got, well, not much. So, we have this stuff right there. I'll move this off the side. We'll put it on the scale for now. I can think about its weight. And then, is there anything else below this? Yep, it looks like we've got below this the manuals. If we can get them out of the box here. Maybe it needs to be opened up this way. That was overly complicated. Okay. So now we've got this out of the way. This is the manual. So we have a, let's hit start a manual here. Uh, it looks like basically just kind of the basics for using the unit. Pretty straightforward. Uh, GoPro Care. So this is their package where if you break your camera, you can get it replaced. I believe it's 79 bucks for the Hero 4 Black, the US dollars. Uh, it may be slightly different if it is. I'll put a note down the bottom there. Uh, basically, they'll swap it out no matter what you do to kill it. Um, you'll get a brand new camera and theoretically like within two days. So uh, that's something to keep in mind. Next is GoPros Plus. This is their platform they have uh, for cloud storage. Uh, I believe you get 35 hours of cloud storage up there of video and allows you to edit it back on your device. So it's kind of a, a backup. Um, there are some caveats to this. Right now you have to use the same device that you back up from this. Um, so if you have a phone, you can sync to the phone cloud, but you have to edit it on one device. You can't like sync to the cloud and edit it on the web or edit it on another device. Uh, so it's a little, it's not perfect yet, but it's getting there. We have some stickers. Uh, and then we have some safety instructions, uh, just says to not kill yourself uh, while using the GoPro. So that is the 
pile of goodness off the side of the manual front. Um, next, we've got a uh, USB-C connector cable here. So this is standard USB that plugs into anything you have USB port-wise. Um, if you do USB 3 or higher, um, or 3, then that way you're going to get more power out of it, uh, faster transfer rates. And this is the USB-C, which connects here on the camera, which I'll talk about in a second. Then we have two mounts. Uh, we have a rounded mount. So this is good for something that's slightly rounded, like a helmet, for example. Um, we use this mount. And then we have a flat mount. This is better for something that's flat, obviously. Um, so a table, a pole, anything that's basically flat on the back, you'll use a sticky mount. You can buy these on Amazon like for like 30 of them for not much at all, like 10 bucks or something from China. Um, really don't pay extra for the GoPro mounts. Just buy the cheap ones off Amazon. It's all the same stuff. It's all the same 3M material in the back. Saves you a bunch of money. And of course, we got this little mount too. Next is the battery. So this is where we get to the camera itself. We have our single battery right there. Uh, take that plastic thing, toss it off there. And then we have the camera mounted onto um, the mounting bracket. So I'm gonna go and remove this just so you can see what's going on here. This little piece of plastic you can toss. This is simply to make it look pretty in the display so it doesn't flop around at all. Uh, so get that out of the way. And then we have this. Um, what this does is this pops into these different mounts right there. So you know you have your flat one like this and then the GoPro sits on top obviously. Um, and it goes into all these. This is your standard GoPro mounting adapter and a standard GoPro mount up there. This is what makes it so you can use GoPro stuff across virtually any platform out there is these kind of interchangeable pieces. Then we have the camera. So the camera sits in a frame case. Um, so uh, or the cage, I think it's called a frame, it's still called a frame. Uh, it used to be called a frame in the old Hero 4 and 3 days. And it was my favorite mount because it's just a simple black mount. It's not waterproof, obviously, by the frame. This isn't waterproof in the old days. Uh, it doesn't matter because this is. Uh, so here's a frame case. What's cool about it is you can still power it in the side. Uh, so if I pop this back in here real quick, you can see that if I remove the door, sorry, I probably should have done that first. Um, if I remove the door here, the door is on the side. So you can actually pop this door off the camera. And that's where your USB charging port is, your uh, USB-C and your HDMI for live streaming video. This is also how the Karma Gimbal and the Karma Drone uh, connect to the camera. And you go ahead and pop this door off here. Let's see if I can do it my first time without breaking anything. There we go, just like that. I don't think I broke anything. Uh, it just pops in by this little snap right there. You can see it um, kind of up close. Maybe I'll zoom in so you can see it there. Anyways, this allows you then to put it back in the case here like this. And then you can access those USB ports on the side while you power it uh, like that. Handy. Um, also useful for time lapses as well. So again, the USB cable off the side. We'll put the door there for now. But we have to put the battery in. So the battery pops in here on this button. So you go like this, open it up, and the battery simply slides in. This is also where the micro SD card goes, right there in that little tiny slot. There we go. And that's it. Um, at this point, we can go and power it on. In fact, it looks like eh, it was going to do that, maybe not. So we'll hit the mode button on the side here to power it on. So there is a top button there, uh, which is for recording, stopping and starting. Um, and this is for powering and changing your mode as well as highlighting. Uh, so mode goes from video to audio, or video to time lapse to photo, etc. And then we have the door here, um, which will put this back on. Uh, now, one cool trick is that this lens actually comes off. I talk about this in my uh, Hero 5 black video uh, where you can pop this off and it's still actually waterproof. So this entire thing here is waterproofed as is right now to 10 meters, about 33 feet. Um, if you pop this off, you've still got waterproofing to 10 feet, about 3.3 meters, uh, which is pretty cool. So this also allows you to replace this in case you break it for some reason, doing something really cool, um, or you hope it's really cool. But uh, there you go, that's the basics of that. Let's talk weight and size comparison. So move this off the side and we've got the scale right here and I'm gonna bring some new players to town. So we've got the Hero 5, or sorry, Hero 4 uh, black and silver. In this case, it's black with some tree parts in it for some reason, or sorry, it's silver. And then we have the Hero 4 Session right there. And then uh, last but not least, we have probably the most competitive unit on the market to this right now, uh, which is the Garmin Verb Ultra 30. Uh, again, check out my video up there somewhere uh, for all about this camera and how this works. So I'm gonna run through these weights and just call them out and you can look at them uh, so you can see how they go. First thing we do is turn this unit on, on, and then we're good to go. So the Hero 5 Black by itself without a frame case is 118 grams. If I add the frame on there, uh, I guess up to 144 four grams, uh, so not too bad. Next, this is the Hero 4 Silver, the Hero 4 Silver and Black are almost identical in weight. 
82 grams, 81 grams. Um, so 82 grams. This is obviously a much lighter camera than this right here, but this has waterproofing. This doesn't. If I want to add waterproofing to this, it brings it to 142 grams. So uh, not terribly far off, actually. Next, we've got the Hero 4 Session. Um, again, the Hero 5 Session is a separate video. 73 grams up here at uh, 90 grams total. So this is still obviously the lightest camera out there. Um, it's known for that, but the Hero 4 Session has kind of crappier video quality. The Hero 5 Session does not. It's um, pretty cool. So next we have Garmin Verb Ultra 30, 88 grams, 89 grams. As a brief reminder here, this one by itself is 118, but this is not waterproof by itself. It's kind of like the, the GoPro Hero 4. So we got to put both of them there, and then we got a low battery message. Really? I turn it back on. This is not the time for a low battery message. Okay, so 89, 158. So a brief reminder, 158 for everything. Uh, including the mounting set, and here it is 144 grams and a low battery on the side. I definitely need to replace the battery in the next video. So, now that's out of the way, let's talk size. Um, so, the first thing to notice is that the Hero 5 Black uh, is almost identical to the Hero 5, or Hero 4 Silver and Black from a size standpoint. Um, a little bit more, you know, uh, front on the lens there that you can see right now. You can see it pops out a little bit more. But again, this is waterproof and this is not. So that by itself is worth it. Um, uh, you know, just looking at these sizes, it's incredible how small this is. This being waterproof, this not being waterproof. Very, very cool. If we were to look at the Garmin Verb Ultra 30 in that mix there, also not waterproof, by the way. Um, but you can see that, you know, the, the sizes are all very, very similar. Um, this is probably technically closer to that. It's like a millimeter too smaller. And then we have the little Hero 4 Session sitting there. The Hero 4 Session and the Hero 5 Session, just as a sneak peek, are the exact same size. So, you know, you're not really like changing anything there from a size standpoint. Uh, so you can just pretend this is the Hero 5 Session at the moment, or you can watch my other video about that. And there we go. And the front view here, a full frontal to end things. So there you go. Size-wise, again, they're very, very similar on this size, but this is without cases. Uh, let's toss cases on there real quick. So we'll put this there, pop that in its little bracket, close this up, and we got, boom, Hero 5. Hero 4 goes into its case. You could do a frame case on this, but that's not waterproof. And so um, I do actually use a frame case the majority of the time, but in this demo, we're gonna talk just pure waterproofing and mounting. So, you know, the thing to keep in mind is that those are fine by themselves, but you still need to mount it to something, like your helmet or whatever else. So you need to include this when you're talking size comparisons uh, and then toss this in last here. There we go. And now we look at sizes. Uh, again, they're very, very similar. This is a touch bit wider, um, but this also has GPS in it. This has GPS, but it's only used like for Instagram style tagging. Uh, I've got a whole separate video talking purely about comparing these two units. Um, so if you want to know everything about these two units, check out that video by itself. Okay, folks, so there you have it on the Hero 5 Black unboxing. Uh, as I mentioned in the video, there's a crap ton of other videos that I have about the Hero 5, about action cameras, uh, about Karma Drone, about all that jazz. I've put all the Hero 5 and new GoPro products, including the Hero 5 Session and the Karma Drone and the Karma Gimbal videos, all up there in that playlist. So you can just like click on that, sit back. Uh, you got like almost an hour of content. It's crazy in there, um, just about the Hero 5. Don't forget, though, to go ahead and whack that like button as well as that subscribe button. There's plenty more sports technology goodness. Uh, coming up later this month, we have obviously the Karma Drone. So I've got kind of a full review planned on that. We've also got things like the DJI Mavic Drone. Uh, really, it's like it's, October is going to be awesome for sports technology. Have a good one.